North East Kerry Development are supporting small businesses such as ice cream manufacturers. Anne began with one small machine, she moved on to two, then three. She still found herself starting work at nine in the morning and working through until four the following morning. Uh, manufacturing process was killing her, she couldn't expand. And then was ridiculous and then I discovered Lida and it was like a whole new world open to me and I cobbled together a business plan and put it forward to Alison who's been an absolute gem and through this business plan we decided I could possibly invest in a big ice cream machine so I went to Harrogate which I know to you will sound boring it was a three day ice cream convention but you know a whole room full of middle aged Italian men what could I say so <laughs> Generally, the word was yes, but it was only to pastries and coffee. Um, and I spoke to all these guys who showed me various machines, which was great because I had to look at different ones. I chose what I thought would be the best spec, came back, sat down with Alison. We spent a lot of time together, and eventually we decided to go for a machine, and it has changed my life dramatically. It's not only changed my life, it means that the business can grow. I came to a grinding halt. I'm very lucky touch wood. But every year, the company doubled in size, which was, which was very good. Until the last year, and I couldn't, I couldn't expand anymore. Physically couldn't do it because of my production capacity. What it's allowed me to do now is expand production. So I can now make little inroads. I'm cu currently speaking to Jam at Bally CD. There's various places that sell the ice cream along with the shop. Dare I say, I've even been looking at another premises, which is all a bit exciting. But the other thing it's done, it's secured. I employ eight staff in summer, and each one of my staff all go to university. And I commit to them, when I take them on, I commit to them that I will, I will stick with them if they will stick with me for the four years that they're at uni. My first one's going through now, and she's graduating. I've got them coming down until I'm starting off a leaving cert. So for those eight kids, it also provides a secure university structure, because they know in summer that they're going to get funding. They know that that's how they can earn their money, which to them is, is, is great. It means they can relax while they're at uni too because they know it's okay. So I, on behalf of myself and the girls, I want to thank Lida because you've been absolutely brilliant. And Alison and Eamon. So thank you very much. Thanks.